Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin Instinct 2S and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. Before we start, you can pair this watch with a phone in two ways. The first method is to do it during the setup process of the watch. So if your watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the second way is to do it through the settings after the watch has been already set up. I'm gonna show you the both ways, but first I'm gonna show you how to do it through the setup process. So, um, let's turn on our watch by pressing and holding the light button. And after the watch turns on, you should see uh, the list of languages because, um, or rather, if your watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings, the list of languages should be here. And you can scroll uh, through the list by using the up and down buttons. So scroll through the list, select the language you would like to use on your watch and then press the GPS button to confirm. And as you can see, now we're being asked if you want to pair the watch with a phone. We want to do that, so press the GPS button and the watch will enter pairing mode. Once it does, we can go to our phone and download and install the Garmin Connect application. So make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled on your smartphone. Uh, open the Google Play Store, tap on search, uh, tap on search and type in uh, Garmin Connect and tap on search. You should see this application, Garmin Connect, tap on the install button to download and install it. And after the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. After the application opens, you will need to log in into a Garmin uh, Connect account. If you don't have an account, you can tap on sign in, or rather create account, my bad. Uh, but I already have an account, so I'm gonna tap on sign in right here. Tap on the box to check the, uh, to agree to the terms of use. Tap on next. And now we need to log in, so give me a couple seconds. Okay, then we can tap on next. If you see this pop up, tap on allow access, tap on allow. And the app should detect your watch automatically. If it doesn't, I recommend to uh, restart the watch by pressing and holding the uh, light button until it turns off and then pressing and holding it again and then re-enter the pairing mode and it should detect the watch. Uh, and to re-enter the pairing mode simply you can go back and press the crown button again to enter the pairing mode. Okay, and once the app detects your watch, tap on connect it, tap on allow, enter the code from your watch, Then tap on OK. OK, now tap on Next. Here we can uh, select this watch to be primary wearable. So if you have different devices uh, connected to your account, you can select a primary wearable. Uh, I'm going to tap on Yes, but you can tap on, on No if you want to. Right here we can um, set up a sleep schedule. So basically uh, you can set up on where you go to sleep and when you wake up. And this helps you to manage the do not disturb mode during the sleep. And to do it, simply tap on edit next to one and you can edit the schedule. Um, by default, you won't have any because uh, this one is connected to my account. So I already have them set up, but by default, you won't, uh, you won't have none. And you can tap on uh, add button or something like that. And then you can edit them. And it's, once you edit them, you can change the bedtime, wake time. You can change the days on which the uh, schedule should be active and then you can tap on save and once you're done you can tap on next. All right here we can set up some goals so something like steps, uh, drinks, uh, how many uh, cups of water you drink and stuff like that so if you want to do it tap on edit my goals and here we have it you can edit them by tapping on the box and entering the value and once you're done tap on next right here we can allow the notification access uh, this is useful if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch. If you want to do it, 
tap on allow notification access. If you don't, you can tap on skip. I'm gonna allow it, so I'm gonna tap on notification access, tap on allow, then we can we, ha we can allow the location permission. Uh, this is useful if you want to track your uh, activities like cycling and stuff like that on the map. So if you want to do it, allow the permission. If you don't care, you can disable, uh, keep it disabled by tapping on skip. I'm gonna allow it. It's gonna redirect me to the app info. I'm gonna tap on permissions, find location and allow it while using the app. And then we're gonna go back. Okay. Uh, I don't know why it brought me back to the uh, sleep schedule, but let's tap on next. Uh, okay, so it wants the permission for all the time for some reason. That's stupid, but okay, let's allow it all the time. Okay, next we have the calendar access and we can allow it or deny it. This is useful if you want to manage uh, or see the events on your calendar and stuff like that on your watch. If you don't care, you can tap on skip to skip this. I'm gonna allow it. Next we have the call logs. This is useful if you want to see uh, who's calling you on your phone because you will be able to have the notifications about calls. And if you want to see who's calling you, the phone number, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can deny it. Next we have the phone call access, same for the calls basically, allow or deny it, and then messages. If you want to see the uh, notifications about messages on your smartwatch, you can allow this <coughs> permission, or rather you need to allow it. If you don't care, you can skip it. And once you're done with the permissions, tap on sync now. Let's try, let's retry. For some reason, it doesn't want to sync with my phone at the moment, so I'm gonna tap on skip sync. Uh, but it should uh, sync with no problem with your phone. And then you can go through the tutorial of the watch by tapping on next. And once you're done, you can tap on finish. And at this point, you should see the uh, main page of the app. You should see your watch right here at the top. And if you tap on menu, tap on uh, Garmin devices, you should see your um, Instinct 2 on the list of devices right here. And you can tap on it to see the device page for it. And that's how you pair the watch for the uh, setup process. Now I'm gonna unpair it and I'm gonna show you how to connect it through the settings. Okay. So I'm gonna close the app. I'm not gonna reinstall it because that will be a lot of time. Um, so let's enter the pairing mode through the settings. To do it, press and hold the menu button to open the menu, then scroll through the menu by using the up and down buttons. Scroll through the menu by and find the phone option. Once you find it, press the GPS button, then scroll down, set, uh, find the pair phone option, press the GPS button, and as you can see, we entered the pairing mode. Now we can open the app, uh, tap on the big plus button, and it should start the setup and it should detect your watch automatically. You can tap on connect it, allow and go through the same stuff as we did before uh, until you finish the setup process. Again, it has problems with syncing. Oh no, never mind, it's synced now. We can tap on finish, uh, go through the tutorial and then tap on finish. And here we have the watch on the, on the top of the menu. And if you open the devices, it should be right here on the list of devices. Okay, and that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.